Welcome. Yeah, so um, problem three of the 2019 AP Calculus BCFRQ and in part A, we're given this here and we're asked to find this here. Now, we know that the integral from negative six to five of F is equal to the integral from negative six to negative two of F plus the integral from negative two to five of F. So knowing that, we see that uh, what we're asked to find, uh, which is that there is uh, this here is equal to the integral from negative uh, 6 to 5 of f minus the integral from negative uh, 2 to 5 of f. Now, that first part we're given. It's 7 right there, yeah? Okay, so we write that. And uh, this next guy, right, this here, his interpretation is the area bound by the x-axis in f from x equals negative 2 to x equals 5. And since we have a graph of f from x equals negative 2 to 5, all we have to do is find this area plus that area plus this area in here, right? Okay, now, any area below the x-axis is negative, so we need to keep that in mind. The first area is that little guy, and he is 1 half, but 1, one over 2, okay? Uh, it's not displaying it, but for reasons you'll see, I wrote it as 2 over 4 instead of 1 over 2. Okay, you'll see the reason. All right, and then the next area is, well, I'll write a minus so we don't forget, is below the x-axis, the area of this triangle here. So that's the minus, because uh, it's below the x-axis. And what is that area? It is 3 over 4, right? So there that is. And then plus, uh, the area that's next is this triangle, and his area is 9 over 4, or her area. Okay, uh, all right. And then the next area is this guy, right? Okay, cool. Now, this is perhaps the trickiest, but it's not that tricky because we have a 3 by 3 square here. And if from the 3 by 3 square we subtract the area of this quarter circle, we would get exactly the area we want, that in red, right? Okay, so the area of the square is 9 because it's 3 by 3 minus the area of the quarter circle is pi times 3 squared because its radius is 3 divided by 4 because it's a quarter circle. If we simplify this quantity, we're going to get 36 minus 9 pi all over 4, yeah? And if we combine all these guys together, now you see why I have a denominator of 4. I saw it coming. Okay, uh, we get this here, yeah? Okay, cool, cool. Um, so uh, this here, right, is the value of this second integral. So we need to do 7 minus this here. But doing 7 minus this here is the same thing as doing 7 plus this here, right? And that's just arithmetic, so I'm not going to show you why. Um, oh, you should know. All right, and then 7 is 28 over 4. So if we do that and then combine, this is our final answer up top. Yeah, okay, cool. That's it for A, so let's move on to B. So B. Now, we know that the integral is a linear operator, and that's just fancy for we can break it up over plus signs and minus signs, and we can factor out constants and write them in front. So if we do both, then this is what we'd get, right? Okay, now, uh, the integral, I'm going a little too fast perhaps, sorry. The integral of f prime is uh, just f, so we evaluate f from 3 to 5. So that's f of 5 minus f of 3, but we have this 2. So we have 2 times f of 5 minus f of 3. Okay, and then we have plus the integral of 4dx is 4x evaluated from 3 to 5 is 4 times 5 minus uh, 4 times 3. And if you factor out a 4 here, you get 4 times 5 minus 3, which is 4 times 2, and so 8. Right? Okay, cool. So we have 8 at the tail end, and then f of 5 is 0. Right, because it's the y value corresponding to x equals uh, z x equals five in this graph of f, right? And the y value corresponding to x equals five is zero, as you can see, right? Okay, so y zero, and that's what I wrote. Okay, there you see it. Okay, so I wasn't lying. Um, and then minus. Um, okay, I'm just animating it too fast, perhaps. Uh, f of three. F of three would be like this here, right? And that's kind of tricky because we'd have to figure out the equation of the bottom half of the circle, which we can do, but perhaps because it's tricky, they gave it to us, uh, which is uh, for x equals 3, f of 3 is 3 minus root 5, so we could just copy that down, All right? Okay, and then uh, now uh, the root 5 is going to be positive because we have this minus and then a minus in front of it, and then the 3 is going to be negative, so we have 2 times positive root 5, minus 2 times 3, so 2 root 5 minus 6, uh, and then plus the 8 at the end here, and, oh, geez, 
Jesus Christ. I went too fast for sure, for sure. Okay, so that's 2 root 5 plus 2, yeah? Okay, okay, you saw it, you saw it, you saw it. Okay, and then now C. And C, we're asked to find the absolute maximum value of G. So remember, as opposed to local maxima and minima, global or absolute maxima and minima require that we figure out the value of G at the endpoints in addition to finding the value of G wherever G prime is equal to zero. So first, uh, cherry picking, let's go to the endpoints. So that's negative two and five. So since G is the integral from negative two to X of F, g of negative 2 is going to be the integral from uh, negative 2 to negative 2 of f and the integral from a to a of any function is 0 so that's 0 and so uh, we see that g of negative 2 is 0 and then g of 5 who's got a good memory because we did that earlier g of 5 right is first going to be the integral from negative 2 to 5 of f dt it's fine i'll bail you out if you forgot we said that that was 44, that's that whole area. And we said that that was uh, 44 minus 9 pi all over 4, right? Okay, there that is. Okay, and then now we need to figure out where g prime is equal to 0 and evaluate g at those places where g prime is equal to 0. Now, g prime, by the fundamental theorem of calculus, is simply f of x. So uh, g prime is equal to f of x. So figuring out where g prime is equal to 0 amounts to figuring out where f is equal to 0. We have the graph of f, and we can see that f is 0 there, there, and there. So I suppose you could benefit from, like, a red highlighting there. Okay, but we already uh, saw the value there because it's an endpoint also, so we just need to worry about the other two guys, that guy and that guy. And those guys are negative 1 and 1 half, respectively. So we do um, now g of negative 1 g of negative 1, right, is going to be the integral from negative 2 to negative 1 of f, and that's just the area of that little guy right there, that um, triangle right there. We did it earlier, and we said that he was positive a half, right, so that's a half. And then um, g of 1 half is going to be um, the integral from negative 2 to 1 half of f, and that this time is the area there and there. And we've done this before, right, and uh, that's a half. And this is negative 3 over 4. They combine to negative 1 over 4. So um, there that is. Yeah? Okay. So clearly, this guy's biggest. Um, if we use like 3 as an approximation of pi, we have 44 minus 27 divided by 4. That beats everybody that's on the right-hand side here. And so uh, the global um, or absolute maximum value of g is this here, and it occurs at x equals 5. Yeah? Okay, cool. On to, on to D. <sighs> okay, so uh, limit questions. Well, the first thing you should do in every limit question is just try to evaluate it as given. I actually thought, because this is a BC exam, that this is going to turn into L'Hopital's the minute I glanced at it. But it's easier than that, which is like we just plug in 1. So if we plug in 1, this is what we'd get, right? Okay. Now, we know from trig 10 inverse of 1 is pi over 4, and we know f of 1 uh, is 1 from this visual, right? f of 1 is 1. And then f prime of 1, right? That's perhaps the hardest part. f prime of 1 is the slope of f at x equals 1. But f has a constant slope from x equals 0 to x equals 2. It's the slope of this line right here, right? And so if we count, the rise is like 4 right? And the run is 2. Um, okay, so uh, we see that f prime of 1 is 4 over 2, and that's just 2. And so we do that, and then, as I said, f of 1 is 1, and a 10 inverse of 1 is pi over 4. So that's uh, 10 minus 6 in the numerator, that's 4, divided by uh, 4 minus pi over 4. And if we simplify this, it's going to be 16 divided by 4 minus pi, final answer. Yeah? All right, cool. I hope you enjoyed this. Keep watching. Take care.